Pat Robertson did one of my favorite segments of all time on his show this week. Let's take a look and laugh. Well, are our young men being turned into wimps? Is that what's happening on college campuses? Can you believe that they've got to apologize for being masculine? They have to apologize for being white. They've got to apologize for being males. I mean, we, it is crazy what's happening on college campuses. Not at Regent University, I might add, but on many of them. <laughs> well, on many college campuses, masculinity used to be looked as something to be desired. Now it's regarded as something shameful. Did, did you, would you want a wimp? <laughs> really? No, I like, I like manly men, and they are scarce out there. Well, I mean, you know? the, the, the time they're little kids, they, they're, they're feminized. I mean, it's just awful. Look, I have to admit, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. So is there like a slight agreement between me and some people on the right when they talk about the the oversensitive social justice warriors and the PC police on college campus. Yeah, in fact, I agree 100% that social justice warriors and PC police are a problem. I mean, and because there's evidence of it. So, for example, when there's a conservative speaker, oftentimes they try to get the speaker pulled. Look, even if I disagree with the conservative speaker, of course I want to let them come speak. There's been instances of pulling down posters that have a conservative message and you know, trying to get uh, professors fired for shit that they shouldn't be fired over because there's just a movement. And safe spaces. Safe spaces are stupid and lists of microaggressions and, oh, you kind of maybe hurt my feelings even though it wasn't intended, so I'm going to make a list of shit you shouldn't say. Fuck off, okay? So I'm with... I'm actually with the right on that. I do think that sometimes they overstate the problem and furthermore... They never call out the PC police and the social justice warriors on their own side, like the president of the goddamn United States, who sued Bill Maher over a joke, who threatened to sue The Onion over a satire article. He's the ultimate social justice warrior, Trump is. And speech police. So there's hypocrisy on for them on that too. But, generally speaking, yeah, I think they're a problem. I never understood this argument, because I've heard this a few times. People on the right like, Oh, men aren't allowed to be men anymore. Zip, zop, zoop, and bop. I like how I just turned uh, Pat Robertson into Bill Cosby. The jello pudding pops. Zip, zop, zoop, and bop. Slip something in your drink. Okay, stop, Kyle. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Pat's over there with his shitty posture. I like manly men. I bet you do, Pat. I like a big old floppy one. I didn't say that out loud. Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I like manly men, and I don't understand why manly men aren't allowed to be manly men anymore. I'm a manly man. Mm -hmm. I need manly men. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, you, the, kids have to apologize for being white. They have to apologize for being masculine. N no? <laughs> Nobody's ever come up to me and said, Hey! You're white. <laughs> I'd like an apology, please. Never happened. Ne never once. None of my friends. I have a lot of white friends. <laughs> None of them have... Yeah, it happened the other day, man. There I was walking down the street. Next thing you know, people giving me the side eye because I'm white. Pretty sure white people have had a good deal for a while. <laughs> Still going on now. Uh, and I just don't understand. But I think it's funny, which is why we're talking about it. I, we were shaming masculine men. That's what's happening. The masculine men are being shamed. Do I still have a pulse? I can't tell.